Okay, again, I will open file, uh, examples, uh, servo, sweep. And then I will just enlarge that. Okay, so I'll a little bit delete that. So, okay, so uh, unlike, unlike the serial library, servo is not a standard library. And actually, this is the first line, shop include and servo.h is a kind of like standard way of importing any external library into your Arduino code. So probably if you well, if you want to use another, and actually if you go to any library's website, there will be uh, a kind of quick tutorial how to import it. So don't worry about it. But using shop include servo.h means is actually this file will include whatever code inside the servo.h file. Okay, let's go to, uh, and then actually servo.h has a lot of things. And even servo library have many grouped uh, code. And then what does, and then, do you remember, uh, okay, so do you remember that when you use Rhino script code, you Rhino script you kind of simplify that Rhino script as RS. Do you remember that? And then this is one way of doing that. Servo, that my servo means, actually you kind of remember servo as my servo. So actually this one is called a variable. Now from now on, my servo will contain everything in the servo library. So actually, uh, if, you are kind of, if I borrow the notion of Rhino script as RS, I just say this one is SV, so servo SV. So from now on, I can use SV to represent the servo. Okay, so that is this part. Actually, this one is actually a little bit uh, in pre a little bit not precise, but kind of like I'm kind of trying to explain in a way that you can understand easily. So again, this SV is a variable that contain all the servo, any code in the servo, and then I'm going to use SV from now on. So position is actually just an initial value to remember the servo location. So just position, I will use later. And then here in the setup, I just change it to sv.attach9, meaning that, okay, so actually instead of 9, I'm going to use 11, meaning that I'm going to use a servo, and that is connected to pin 11. Is it okay to everybody? Okay. That's it. And in the loop, okay, let's do something easier one. I just delete everything. So now this servo library knows that my, your servo is connected to pin 11. Let's do something easy. What I do is servo sv dot, oh, what was that? Probably a uh, write, okay. Uh, write position, okay. What I'm going to do is, as a first test, sv dot write, and let's say zero. And then, let's use delay one second. So let's see what this will do. Uh, so I'll just test it, verify, and compile sketch. Everything's okay, and then I'll just upload it. And then, this will move it where angle zero. And then I change it to, okay, let's change, okay, uh, everybody have servo moving to angle zero? Yeah. Okay, now what I do, I just kind of uh, move the angle of the motor to zero. Is yours working? Okay, I just, okay, I will check yours. Uh, 